bougainvilleas are excellent showpiece in any garden when they're blooming that is but when you have them in pots after a period of time in our case it's usually about two or three years they move from this spectacular specimen to something looking more like this now why stay tuned and we'll discuss that <music> Bougainvillea is a very hardy tropical plant. It loves lots of sunshine, is very easy to maintain, and produces spectacular blooms, mainly during the warmer, drier months of the year. Bougainvillea was our first choice for color when we established our courtyard three years ago. There are many attractive varieties available to choose from. This is a really vibrant red, but just to remind you that the actual bougainvillea flower is the cute tiny little white speck you see here. The very showy colorful parts are called bracts. The job of bracts is to attract pollinators to the flowers. Bougainvilleas are great climbers, attaching themselves to surfaces, including trees, they do this by these sharp, sturdy thorns. If they're not controlled, they can reach to great heights. This one has been allowed to climb about 20 feet to frame an entranceway. Because of its very large thorns, we have used bougainvillea in our perimeter fence for enhanced security. This bougainvillea is Kenyan Sunset. It occupied a really pivotal place in the courtyard for about a year doing its thing. But for the last uh, two, three months from afar, I kept looking and wondering what was the problem with Kenyan Sunset, why it is not sending out any new shoots. Finally, I got around to it and the culprits were four large slugs living under the pot. Yeah, I should have known, but it's not every plant that I get a chance to look at every week so the thing to do now is to well i've evicted those slugs for sure and what i'm going to do is show how you can prune it up and within a period of say two to three months we expect it will go from this bedraggled state back to its um, original splendor and the main thing we're going to do to get it back into shape is pruning so essentially this section of the video we will concentrate on how to prune uh, bougainvillea to get it back into the shape that you want it to be in and the pruning in this case we're going to be doing making sure the plant is balanced on all sides so you want a compact shape so we're going to be trimming a fair bit from all around the plant so that when we're done the structure of the plant would be visible and you'll see you'll be able to see whether it is balanced or not so let's begin with this branch and I am selecting this point at which to cut because there's a nice shoot that's coming up there at the node and it's pointing upwards. So this shoot is going to grow and contribute to the bushiness of the plant. I'm going to be leaving any shoot that has really nice healthy leaves. And in the end, we are going to look to see when we're refining the pruning, we are going to look to see which ones can be kept. Here again, I'm selecting the cut right. A node that is healthy and about to burst into life. So you get the idea. Later on in um, refining the, the pruning, we are going to be looking for branches that cross, etc. This is a healthy looking branch, if you can see it. Um, but unfortunately, this looks like a very recent damage slug damage so it's not going to be a healthy shoot so we're going to take a cut just below it you could see 
the slugs have been chewing on the softer part and that's what slugs will do of course they, they make a meal of the young tender succulent parts of any plant okay so speeding this up here's a nice shoot coming up clip just at that okay that's essentially the basics of pruning you keep an eye on the shape you want it's like cutting take, giving the plant a haircut and when you take your cut you'll aim for a node where there is a young shoot that is coming out in the direction you want your plant to grow so you will not you should not take a make a cut right at a node pointing downward you really don't want your plant to be growing downwards so that's essentially it i'll complete the pruning of this and after pruning there will be a little resuscitation in terms of nutrient application here's a nice shoot healthy so this is what the bougainvillea looks like after we've pruned it you see it's been reduced by i would think about a quarter in size and it has a more compact shape now with lots of young buds coming in next step i would say is just to tease the soil it's not yet due for repotting but we can give it a little renewal by just stirring up the soil surface a bit topping up with a mixture of soil compost and perlite our standard potting mix this will give it a little bit more rooting zone and the last step is a, a nice drink of nutrients and in here we have 202020 soluble so i would think that's all relatively simple steps you remove the those dead or unthrifty looking branches cut take the cut near to a node where there is a, a young shoot coming up you tease it up give it a little bit extra a top up of new potting soil and some fertilizer uh, you leave it in the sun bougainvillea does best in full sunlight and the amount of trimming we did is not such a major shock but most importantly for us now we have to be on top of the slugs because that's what caused the damage in the first place we will pause for now and wait a few weeks and share with you the progress of the rejuvenation this is what the bougainvillea plant looks like four weeks after pruning there are lots of new leaves some fully expanded and quite a few more just emerging to speed up the growth of the leaves we will make a second application of fertilizer at this time we expect to see flower buds by week eight if not we'll apply a fertilizer that is low in nitrogen medium in phosphorus and high in potassium we call that the bloom booster and we actually use 71240. we will keep this plant in full sunlight and reduce watering and hopefully it will be covered in blooms within three months of the initial pruning like this one i hope you found this video on pruning and resuscitating a damaged bougainvillea interesting and informative if you did please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't done so as yet, please subscribe. Next week, we will share with you the results of our amaryllis reblooming experiment. So, please check us.